Hi, I'm over the all seeing camera. We are back to the channel with another one. If you guys saw the news or you saw social media, you saw that the second suspect of the Young Dolph case was actually arrested. The rap name Straight Drop. Yeah, Straight Drop. He was finally he was finally taken into custody in Indiana. And then I remember they were like, yo, why is no one talking about the second suspect? Because there was two people we obviously saw in the videos from the surveillance uh, camera from the cookie shop that shot at Young Dolph. So we were like, there was two people. Why are they only focused on one? I saw different online theories that the dude was either arrested already and they didn't want the second suspect to be notified that the first guy was in prison. Two, they're actually looking for the second guy as well, but they don't want to warn the, the, the they're already looking for the first guy, but they don't want to warn the second guy and let the streets know and put out his picture to like spook him as well. Or three, they, they were going to try to get him to rat on the second guy and give up his location. So we find out on social media that the first theory was correct. They already had the first guy arrested. He already got arrested from an earlier case and he just happened to be in jail when they charged him with the young dog case as well and they needed the second guy so maybe he said something about the second dude we're not too sure but there is a news clip there's a, there's a video i saw on world star as well when we were scanning through that came out today titled young Dolph's alleged killer straight drop arrested in indiana after just releasing his new music video so we pulled up the music video on youtube and we also got the news so let's I want to see this real quick. Let's 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 get into this. And with breaking news, first at six, two sus. Yeah, you see the that's this that's the first dude right there that they never told us about. Cornelius, that's a terrible name. Smith and Justin Johnson sounds like a good new wide receiver. Like, bro, you could have been a lit receiver, a lit cornerback in the league, but you chose this life instead. Facts are now charged in the murder of Young Doll. Tonight, we're learning more about what led to their arrest. Cornelius is a terrible name. That dude sounds like he's up to no good, no bullshit. You can't leave Cornelius in your house alone. He's still for joining us for the news at six, I'm Greg Hurst. I'm Stephanie Skurlock. The charges come nearly two months after the shooting death of Young Dolph, whose real name is R.I.P. Adolf. R.I.P. Dolph. Say, 23-year-old Justin Johnson was captured this afternoon in Captain. Indiana. The second suspect, 32-year-old Cornelius Smith, was indicted today on multiple counts, including first-degree murder. Now, Smith was arrested last month in South Haven, Mississippi, for an auto theft involving the white car that was believed to be the getaway car. So if you guys remember the white car is that white Mercedes that was used in the shooting. So it looks like he stole it in, in Mississippi and then got arrested for that. That's why he was already in prison when they were looking for Justin Jefferson. Young Dolph's killing. That car was stolen at a gas station on Kirby Road a week before the murder. Johnson. A week before the murder, they stole the car. Oh my God, that sucks who goes by the rap name Straight Drop, posted on social media that he was going to turn himself in yesterday, but that didn't happen. He was captured today after being put on the TBI's most He said he's going to turn himself in to buy some time to leave Memphis and go down to Indiana, Bozo. What you thought? You was never going to get caught, bro? You better... You The only chance was to get out of the country. Like, Indiana? Indy, that's so random. Like, Indiana locks you up for bud. Authorities say they'll release more. You get caught over there smoking and driving, and you pulled over and you cost me like, we they're gonna run your place, they're gonna run your name. So, all right, Straight Drop posted on Instagram, like, yeah, I saw that too. Act was talking about that, like, Straight Drop was just posting clips on Instagram and like debunking rumors, like, I ain't never snitched. Like, bro, you got bigger fish to fry. Why are you worrying about that right now? I guess you don't want to go to jail as a snitch, so that makes sense. But he posted none but gangster shit on my record. You niggas, police, and bogus. All my charges I did time for or either got dropped with cool guy glasses. Well, let's see about this one. All right, so that looks like that's his new music video. I actually pulled up the music video because I wanted to go through the comments more than anything. Like, dude, is it worth it? Because it looks like you did this You did this whole thing, right? And you knew the world was looking at you. So like, hey, what a better time than me to drop a music video now because I have the whole world's attention. But was it worth it? I already, I haven't even, no bull, we haven't even went through the comments yet, none. I pulled it up, we haven't even went through the comments or nothing yet. But I already know it's gonna be a whole bunch of R.I.P. Young Dolphs, this dude's are lame, like, was it worth it? Because I would never in my life, I got a YouTube channel, I would never think that doing something dumb or crazy like this and be like, I bet, and then I'm gonna drop a video, a reaction video the next day, everyone's gonna wanna watch it. I'm gonna react to the news of myself, like, nah, bro, it's definitely not worth it. Let's go through the comment section real, real quick. This man, this man really got the audacity. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, that's the first comment. That's the one with the most likes and the most pins. Like, bro, you, you got to turn up your comment section. This dude don't know life in prison is life. All the way from South Africa, RIP King Dolph. 
Sad we'll never see how many dislikes this video got. That's hilarious. I'm gonna like that comment. That's hilarious. That's a, that's true. Two minute flex for the rest of your life. Get comfortable, little bro. Keep it up with a whole bunch of laughing emojis. That's what I'm saying, bro. Like you traded a two minute music video for the rest of your life in prison. How does that make sense, bro? How does that make sense? The song got 7.4 thousand likes, so I could just imagine this shit got like 600 dislikes. I don't even dislike this video, but we gonna dislike this one without even watching. I haven't even watched it yet, and I'm disliking it. I don't care. I don't care. All right, let's jump into this quick. Because I don't even want to give him more clout than he deserves, no bullshit. Off the rip, I didn't even click play yet. I haven't even clicked play yet, and he's so disrespectful. If you remember when he did the shooting, he had a brass pro shop hat on. The guy that they're saying is straight drop. We don't, allegedly, allegedly. We still don't know it's him, alleged. But allegedly, they're saying the shooter that he is, is the dude with the brass pro shop hat. Look how this video starts off. He got a pyramid of brass pro shop. This shit is the, the, the Egypt of brass pro shop. Like, he went to the headquarters of brass Brass Pro Shop and flew over it with a drone. You disrespectful mother. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Rest in peace, young Dolph. The Dolph will live forever. The dolphin is going through the ocean right now. Like, oh, I'm trying to bring all the Dolph pictures in my my head right now with smiles on his face because this was just disrespectful. I see what he did here with the Brass Pro Shop pyramid on this motherfucker. Like, but these dudes are crazy. It's why I tell you. I'm like, I want no smoke. I want no smoke, bro. It's the rest of your life. Like, it's the rest. Of, what you think? You dropping balls from prison over the phone? You about to be a freestyle phone deliverer like bro no straight drop yeah they dropped the location on your ass nigga they straight dropped the location on you track hole he made me just dislike that car the same way that ddg told tusi i don't really like jeeps i don't really like ho <laughs> track hole that's an american i'm good i actually like the car now nah, i don't don't even shake your head hold your head still let me tell you guys this right now. I'm not gonna lie. I love the Memphis accent. So you put that Memphis accent over a beat, 80% of the time I'm gonna like your music. 80% of the time I'm gonna like you. Like you already have a step higher than a lot of people because I do like that Memphis accent over Memphis beats. But this one I gotta keep reminding myself. Like now nah, we hate him, bro. He's an enemy. He's bad for business. Oh, hey, this bus, I'm moving, then I'm fine. Treat the young for what they were for cuffing on the O's ain't mine. Kill this shit, yeah. I stay fresh as fuck, but don't even be trying. Definitely be trying. You know how he knows he's going to prison? He left the tags on the North Face. Like, he ain't even care to hide it. Post, You could have put that in the pocket, brother love. You could have put that in the pocket. You just, if you guys want to see that, this is the same jacket we just unboxed on this channel, but not a Supreme collab. This is the regular Nupti's North Face. Dude, you could have put the tag in the pocket, but you don't even care. Everything he got on right now got a tag for sure. For sure. And it ain't for style. It's because he knows he's going to prison after dropping this. And whoever's recording, he's telling his baby mamas. One can keep the jacket, one can keep the pants, one can keep the hat. Go back to Gucci, go back to the North Face store and return these shits. Like, I bought it just for this video. I know it's not going to be used a lot. Return it. And he got a stack of cash and shit thinking he's smooth. He's going to try to go to jail with a stack of cash in case he got to pay bail. Like, he thinks you're not going to get bail, one. But that's why he got all that cash on him. I don't know why he put a charger. I feel like that shit was bad luck. Every time I see a charger, I think of cops. No bullshit. Every time I see a black charger drive by me, I got anxiety every single time. Like, oh shit, that might be the 12. You gotta put the blunt down. You know when you put the blunt down, you in mid conversation. <laughs> yeah, it was good. You see the charger. You're like, oh shit. You start nodding your head, walking my way downtown, walking fast, and I'm holding. Ba -da 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 -da. Just so they can keep driving. Like, oh nah, he's just grooving to white music. He ain't doing nothing bad. That's the shit that I put in my head, bro. That's the shit that I put in my head. His outfit getting me tight, though. No bullshit. Them boots, is, his dapper damn boots, I'm not liking them. Let's see if we can get a better look at them. Don't up guns in my video because Fez be watching off their fake accounts. Like, bro, you think that's what's gonna help you beat the case? You just put Brass Pro Shop in your video. Like, you you throwing salt on the wound. I'm good. I don't want to see who your style is. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a thousand. I just like the jacket. That's about it. But not even on him. Like, now I don't even like the orange nut tee. I'm gonna think of him every single time. He's showing all that money up his arms. Like, you about to be... 
he about to take a picture, post it on the block with a whole bunch of oodles and noodles going down his arm, bro. Like, it wasn't worth it. Kids, think about it. It's not worth it. Look at those boots. Those might not be dapper. Damn, I thought he had Timberland boots with the Gucci print on the side. These actually... No, that's the North Face and Gucci collab. I see I see it now. These shits is bad for business, though. I do not like them boots at all, but I see what he did there. I take back the Dapper Dan comment. Don't up guns in my video, but I be killing shit staying fly. Well, we know you might have done that, and you're trying to pretend like you're fly in this video with all this Gucci looking like a Gucci bandana. So, you're not really looking good for business, bro. They're probably going to play this in court. Usually, I say do not play music, hip-hop lyrics in court. Play this shit. Play this. Play this and make him watch his video himself and see how stupid he looks. I will pause it at the Brass Pro Shop. But All right, so let's break this down. In the beginning, he's a dickhead. Cause you can see he added the yo bro like i'm breaking this down in court i can't be a lawyer because i would have turned my lawyer to a reaction video bro if i'm the prosecutor i'm in this shit like a reaction video leave him with 50 in his coffin well stupid you should have offed yourself because now you got caught and you're gonna you're gonna you never leave it. oh that's not a charger that he keeps showing that's the track hawk that he's showing he just bought a new car. You didn't even get to enjoy your car, bro. Like, unless you rented it for the video. But you you flexing a track hawk that you really not going to hawk around. You not going to hawk around. You took another black man's life, man. That was that was doing so much for his family. And yes, you might be friends with him. Maybe you're not. Maybe you are because we saw him in pictures. And I guess you dissed him after because we saw him drop a music video in front of that same house that we saw the stolen car. Like, how dumb can y'all be, bro? How Y'all going to bring the stolen car that y'all committed crimes in, two murders, and you're going to leave it back at the same house that you and your man shot a music video before? Like, nah, bro. This shit, this shit writes itself. No bullshit. Like, to be a detective today, I used to think it was the hardest job. Then I started watching First 40, and I'm like, oh, nah. They just get the will change you out somebody you gotta just egg them on to snitch on themselves because bro every single case the cops break on first 48 somebody breaking there's somebody cracking it's a, it's a hole in the case and this is the brass pro shop that i'm looking at right now terrible let me turn the screen record off because it's irritating me to look at we dropped a dislike already i'm not even gonna give him a comment i'm good uh guys comment down below let me know how stupid you think he is he shot a music video in Indiana, uploaded it, and then got arrested the next day after telling the cops he was going to turn himself in on Monday with his lawyer. Like, where did you think this was a good idea? I feel dumb reporting it. Like, no bullshit. I feel dumb reporting it. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about it. At least we know both dudes are arrested. Again, it's still alleged crimes. We don't know if they're guilty until the, that gavel hits the wood and says guilty. It just, you look bad for business, bro. Because I was watching all the Instagram detectives and the social media detectives, and everybody was pointing at him and his mans that this track that they shot and he was wearing the brass pro shop hat in the video the same hat from the murder allegedly he was wearing it in the video standing on a porch like nah bro you can't be this dumb like nah you trying to get caught this there, there's something happening in jail that i don't know about like there's something in there they're running a crazy supreme sale or some shit i don't know what's going on in there I love women, so you know for sure I'm never looking forward to going in there. It's why I'm a good law-abiding citizen. Guys, but before we get into that, make sure you like the video. Turn on your notifications. Drop a like. Drop a comment. Let me know what you think about this guy. Is he such a bimbola head? Like, is he the dumbest criminal in the world? Like, I'm still confused on how he thought any of this was a good idea. I'm turning myself in on Monday to get a two-day head start to Indiana. Like, out of all places, Indiana. You get caught smoking and driving, they're going to pull you over. Indiana plays no games. I'm not going there. Like, nah, I'm not going there. Guys comment down below and like i love to say until the next one we out of here